Thank you for watching the Smartbox Pro setup and operation guide. The Smartbox Pro includes two Blu-ray players, dual preview monitors, dual wireless microphone receiver, vision switcher and audio mixer all pre-wired in a professional road case. You will also require a projector to connect your Smartbox Pro to. This projector will vary depending on the application. Place your Smartbox Pro onto a stable table next to your projector. The distance required to achieve the size image for your screen will vary depending on your projector. Please refer to your projector manual for the correct throw distance. First remove the front and rear covers by untwisting the latch on each side. Plug in the power cable in the rear of the box followed by the speaker cables left and right appropriately. Plug in the power to your projector and then connect the other end of your HDMI cable from the pro unit to the projector. This projector displayed is the Optima EH7500 and must be switched on at power first then turned on using the secondary power switch. Don't forget to also remove the lens cap of your projector. To power up your unit, each component has its own power button. Start at the top and work your way down, switching on the microphone receiver, preview monitors, which has a power switch and each monitor has a standby button, the Kramer vision switcher, both Blu-ray players and finally the audio mixer. Once turned on, insert your Blu-ray discs into each player. You'll notice that the Pro unit is labelled according to each media input. For example, Preview Monitor 1 connects to Blu-ray Player 1, which uses Button 1 for the Vision Switcher and Volume 1 on the mixer. The same applies for Number 2 and Auxiliary. The reason this unit has dual Blu-ray players and monitors is to allow for queuing up of multiple discs to be played one after the other. This is changed by simply selecting the next monitor on the Vision Switcher and the audio from the mixer. Now we will demonstrate how the unit works together with the projector and speakers. While the media is playing, select Blu-ray 1 on the vision switcher, then turn up volume 1 on the mixer and you'll notice sound come through on the speakers and the image is displayed through the projector. To change media input, select channel 2 through the vision mixer, then turn down volume 1 and turn up volume 2. To use an iPod, connect your iPod to the auxiliary input at the rear of the Pro unit, then to your iPod using an RCA to mini jack cable. Press play on your iPod and select the auxiliary volume. To use your microphones 1 and 2, they are operated once turned on at the microphone, then turn up volumes on the channels labelled mic 1 and mic 2 appropriately. When finished using the unit, ensure that all volume controls have been returned to zero. Before powering off the unit, remove the discs from each Blu-ray player. Turn off each component of the Pro unit starting at the bottom. Turning off the mixer, each Blu-ray player, the Kramer Vision switcher, each standby button and the power button on the preview monitors, finishing with the microphone receiver. Power off your projector and remove the HDMI cable, followed by the power cable. At the rear of the Pro box, switch off the entire unit. Unplug the speaker cables by pressing the release buttons. Remove the HDMI cable, followed by the power cable. To pack up, replace the covers of the Smartbox Pro and secure using the latches for both the front and rear panels.